Nyaruguru. And it will be brought in by Kagasha Shadia. Looking to get this ball underway. The referee well, telling Kagasha to go slightly behind. Just reminds me of uh, those days growing up as a child where we used to wake up very early in the morning to uh, play football on a Sunday. Your uh, mother or father is actually forcing you to go to church, telling you to go to church and uh, you have very many reasons of not going to church because you have to go and play the game. Yeah, actually you could even hide <laughs> your church clothes. <laughs> If the or past put, year put them in about, water. Yeah, about two clothes. <laughs> uh, one for church, one for visiting, and one, of course, uh, ordinary one uh, for staying in the whole day. You hide and then don't go to church. And they find you at a pitch, then you get kiboko. <laughs> <laughs> well, early morning games, just bring that memory back. I hope uh, for the, those who are currently watching, and uh, can I say are above the age of uh, 25 and so on, uh, I, I, I believe you actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you love to play the game of football anyway. Throw in. It's brought in by Tumweva Zeroda. Away there by Juta. Fight at the midfield level. Good movement from Navabi. Swinging that ball through, but it uh, just seems not to be going anywhere. This is Nalule. Try to drop that ball forward. Kayesu. Now stolen away by Punyaru. Guru reposes again by Rines. It's away by the captain. They are taking their time here. From one side to the other. Rines trying to keep the ball low. You can see how they are passing that ball with ease. Nalude. Nalude again. Good pressing there from uh, Irina Kiror. Now could be a foul. It's just been awarded there. It was Juta Catherine was actually a foul in there. The referee wants a word here. <laughs> wants a word with uh, Nachin to Aisha. And she's been warned no more. So the first time that Nachin has been warned. Even yesterday she was warned. She loves to play that uh, heavy football Nachin to for Bunyaru Guru. She's kind of hard. Uh, goes in for those hard tackles. Apparently, to go through her, you have to go down a bit and uh, get uh, the pinch of the pain of that particular tackle. Free kick. Away by a lawyer. Now, putting back in the forbidden area, there's a chance here. It's a bit of a lack of concentration at the back and good clearance from Musi Beta. Akiror. Nora Akiror. Good side stepping and good running. This is Nora venturing forward. It's a zero pass away. But unfortunately, Bunyaruguru Bunya has uh, a Pessy Harriet uh, Kauda there and puts that ball away for a throw in. It's only nine minutes of the game played in this. Yeah, it's foggy at the moment. Uh, probably uh, the prey doesn't become too much because at times you may not see your opponent who is a bit further. Like you can see in the vicinity, the girls would love to play in such a condition. Now because, here we are. Yeah, the effect from the artificial turf is limited. Corner. And it will be brought in quickly. So let's wait and see what comes in from this corner. It's a long ball forward, and uh, referee actually calls for a foul there. <laughs> Susanna to hear it. Just got fouled, and uh, there will be a free kick now. The ball away. Here, trying to collect. Picked away by Kayesu. Away by Nalule. Just goes away for another throw in here to Nyarukiru. And uh, Tumueva Zeroda tries to go very long. Kayesu. Nababi. Squawk clearance from the back there from Nansha. That goes away for another throw in here to Nyarukiru. 
and they'll be able to take their time these two sides and maybe see if they can actually fail to concede any goal here and maybe have about four points each with one game remaining to go depending on what happens in uh, the game between Kataka that comes up a little later that's Nalule unfortunately we don't exactly what happened there well the one who will lose the game between uh, Kataka and uh, remind me of the opponent uh, in the afternoon uh, the one who loses will definitely not progress because they will be uh, left with zero points yet you have already somebody with three points and one could come up with about six points in this game or four between the two so the one who loses at zero points may be at a high risk of not going through uh, the stage they have everything to fight for winners football club have resorted to going long and probably will try to utilize the balls coming in using aerial prowess all right just reminding you that the other team is called Townview Bujiri. Townview Bujiri. Yeah. The one I confused with Township Rollers of Botswana. Now we. None too bad. This is that ball through. Now the attack is very much on into the wing. Kauda. Over pushing that ball through. Now stolen away by Nagai Eva. Trying to lose her footing, Eva. Goes for the low short, but straight up to the goalkeeper, Esther Namaganda. Away from Namaganda. Looking for Eva on one side, and also looking for Nachinga Maureen on the other. Nachinga number 16, Eva number 10. Harriet loses that ball through. So by the referees we saw, but uh, it's going to be a free kick now to Unyaruguru. Very much open-ended game here tonight, so basically that is how it currently stands here. Okay, a free kick definitely that didn't produce any yields for Bunyaruguru. And apparently the referee signals for a corner. Oh no, it's a goal kick. Arenas will have to go for a goal kick you can see some probing and puffing some creativity being given attention by both teams but apparently Bunyaruguru defending amicably because Akira and Musimenta form a very good partnership at the back Peter Otai no ball from Roda well, somebody's face almost went there <laughs> Uh, before he does a what that for the free kick that was a uh, here is Susan long from Aloyo she's been doing a lot of sweeping straight up to Namaganda Esther this is Namaganda it's collected now to the far side this could be a chance for Winyaru Guru to take the lead if they can and again, good pressing and good pressure from Kauda Harriet. And not giving any chance to the Nyaruguru striker to get something for herself. Nyaruguru is settling in uh, in the tournament. Yesterday, they hardly got a few passes together in the first half. But apparently, today they are a better outfit. You realize there is some sinking. The gelling is super proper. And as you said, Kauda is steering them from the right flank and apparently bringing in a few crosses that are giving Rines Wudo Club a problem at the backside. This is a loop. That's a loop ball forward. Allow you out. Allow you away. That goes for another throw into Bunyaru Guru. Well, just like yesterday, all uh, the footballers on loan from. Uh, the Lady Doves are actually in here. Namaganda, Esther, Kiror, Irene, Musimenta, uh, that is Adrien, and of course Alupo, Nora. All available and uh, foul it is. As, uh, the Lady Gone Juliet started in uh, the first game against uh, uh, Townview. A 
Alupo doing very well. They also keep the ball on play, but uh, she picks up the foul at the end of the day. It's free kick here. Matching to Aisha will be the one to deliver. Or rather, it was Kemikisa. Another foul. And this time in a very good territory. There's a free kick here for Bunyaruguru. In a good territory, a couple of yards away from the box. And uh, it looks like Alupo will be the one to go for this one. She's looking to score her first goal here for Bunyaruguru. And you can actually see her preparing herself to go for this free kick a couple of yards away. In a good, good position. Well, this could be the first goal if they can utilize it perfectly. Bunyaruguru. Well, we did see Musimenta Aldrin scoring from a longer distance than this. And uh, maybe you could be fancying her to go for this. I think Renez watched that goal and will be a little bit cautious than Shikataka were in that game yesterday. Who goes for this? Will it be Musimenta Aldrin or will it be Nora Alupo? All the three are in there. This is Alupo. Goes for the shot. Good save from the keeper. And the rebound is not that good. And uh, again, Najemba Elsie doing very well. Yeah, I think she's been athletic, flexing where need be. She did need to move a lot, but only make sure she got the ball in her hands. Good goalkeeping from Najemba for me between yesterday and today. Away by Yesa. Play from Yusta. Trying to chase on this one. Kayesu. Just holds away there for a throw in to Bunyaruguru. Will be looking very comfortable with the way they are playing tonight. Bunyaruguru. Tumwebase. Yusta Kayesu. Dropping to Eva. This is Nalule. On oh, the swinging ball on the far side, it's uh, Nachinga. Beats one, Nachinga. Just cannot beat the goalkeeper there, but again, good play in the box. Yeah. Very, very good play. Renez trying to integrate so well. Use the ball better. Shakira with the armband, using her experience uh, to their advantage. But apparently, the shot is appalling and cannot yield anything for the visiting team today. Well, that final shot is on that actually refused to come through, but now here comes the run through. But Kauda yet again swept away by the goalkeeper, Najemba. Ball still on play. Away by Nababi. For a throw here to Bunyaruguru. Elsie Najemba, the goalkeeper, just signed from Garford Ladies. Apparently, this is her debut season for me. She's Asuka. doing so well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Well, those ones didn't go very far when it came down to the Super League. And now there's a chance. There's a handball. Referee awarding that for the free kick now to Rines. As they look to go very, very long. Sunday morning clash here of the table leaders. As it stands, uh, Rines are the ones leading the table. They actually scored very many goals in game number one, Rines, compared to Bunyaruguru that scored one. And that ball swept away. <laughs> Nachinga Morin. I cannot believe that uh, she actually failed to keep that ball on play. Kagasha. Alupo. Kagasha again. Alupo, waiting on Kaunda. He tries to drop that ball further. And here they come now. Can they do something here? Well, inside the D they are. The shot not very bad. And good piece of defensive work. Ha, it's been solid there. Very good play. What's that, Navavi? Just threw her body on the line. That's excellent work. Very, very excellent work. I like the way Nyaruguri is taking the game to their opponents. In the box, more so. Uh, trying to be less nervy and apparently you can see some tension off 
you are trying to settle in, just look at the partnership. Oh, the nutmeg through the legs, and apparently they only failed to execute. They have been better than yesterday, Bunyaruguru. Well, the whistle goes up again for the York side. Well, trust me, there is a very, very big challenge when it comes down to uh, some of these footballers, really. And uh, their kids, men. I don't know who's in charge of the kids right now because there's a little bit of uh, an issue with the kitting. Mm. Or well, a footballer putting on a wrong number, according to what we have on paper. Uh, but we've seen that all tie even in the Premier that's League. That's not right. Yeah. Of course, that's not right. It sometimes confuses uh, more so when some of these girls are new to the scene. Those that are known could be easily identified by face, but with some of them are just coming up, are coming from junior teams, coming from schools, it's really kind of hard. Probably the organizers are more so those in charge for such statistics should go down to the particulars in detail. Well, a well taken free kick, but apparently defended amicably by Akirol, who has been solid at the backside. For Bunyarugu Football Club, Bunyaruguru. Again. It's a long kick for Rinez. Juta Catherine made sure she sends it the other way. And apparently, Kauda Harriet doing all the wonders at the left side. Throw in uh, goes to a uh, Rinez Football Club. Brought in very quickly. Nyaruguru try to take advantage and uh, shoot at goal, but Najemba is focused and holds the ball firmly. She's been good at goal, contending to be one of those that have done well in this particular group. Or oh, just a bouncing ball there. It's away there by Akirol. And swept away perfectly, but not that well. And just easily glides away there for a throw in. Still 23 minutes of this match play. Bunyaruguru 0, Rene 0. Renez zero. Well, coming up, it will be the town view. Bujiri will be up against Shikataka. It's basically a part of two teams that come almost from the same region. Well, Halima may find it so hard to score against her former side. Halima is one of the strikers for Nyaruguru. She featured for Renez last season, but bought off by Lady Doves, who definitely loaned her to Nyaruguru. Because that's what a Lady Doves has done of, has done so with some of the players that they didn't feel they would use this season. Game continues to man up as we continue to see the fouls here. So, offside. A lawyer piece will be the one to deliver this very long. Away from a lawyer. Collected by Nalule. Now here they come, Eva. Throw in here. Good play there from the defense of uh, Susan Atuhire. She's supposed to be defending, but uh, actually supposed to be striking, Susan. Was defensive today. Catherine Juta. Eva. Eva again trying to nick that ball to Nalule. And, uh, the idea was not read well by Nalule. But again, she's a fine player, that is Eva. Just a number 10 for Rines. In school all the way from uh, Wakiso here. Lots of experience from Rines who are playing their fourth season in the Elite League and apparently for Bunyaruguri it's the second. We showed you the first one was last season. And apparently they were f uh, third when the season was halted because yesterday as they played Shikataka who were debutants because they came in as a result of a COVID organization since the season had halted due to the pandemic. It's good play from Kati Shabe but the ball stolen away. A good play there from Eva. It's a battle over 
hands there and again it has been the calling of Najin to Aisha. I don't know if Najin will actually survive this but Eva is trying to make her look very bad on the pitch and there you go yellow card for Najin to Aisha. She couldn't survive she came in a little hard and now needs to be very careful a second booking will mean a sending off and then that will mean that Munyarugulu will have to play with they say man down yeah, that is in case she gets a red card <laughs> a another play. yellow anyway but uh, yeah, a player less let me use that well man down is not bad i don't know what you say women woman down <laughs> it's just like saying men at work even when there's a woman i know yeah. that free kick and uh, nalule fouled by irene akiror she's a bit uh, disappointed and uh, she's been ordered to stop Rina Kiro just walks away. I'm just reminding you that Katusha Behalima is down to only one jersey number three. Super kick here to a loyal piece, a couple of yards away. And D is inside the defensive wall, actually, is in the D. Good distance, very good distance. Seen some pretty, pretty good balls uh, dropped into that area, and uh, we've seen also goals scored from such distance. But uh, Pisa Loyo, let's see if she can actually do exactly what Aldrin Musimenta did yesterday to go long. But it could be Maureen Nachinga to go for this jersey number 16, and also Juta Catherine just standing next to her. Maureen Nachinga trying to calculate the flight of this, she goes long tries to drop that ball disappointing yeah disappointing i don't think she meant to do that oh collides with the referee referee apologetic and now there is a goal kick coming in from the nyarugul girls throw here to nyaruguru it will be brought in by roda tumwebaze our wing has actually been slightly busy compared to the left wing that is supposed to be handled by Kagashe Shadia. Nalule tries to go long, I won't disturb the goalkeeper, Namaganga. And that's the lady who has uh, received the first yellow card, Nachin to Aisha. Slowly by slowly, game continuing to drive up. Alupo. Now swept away there. A free kick to Bunyarugur girls who are accelerating consistently. They are probing, creating space, and apparently they need to uh, get. Uh, goals from the set pieces. Yesterday they got one from Musimenta and apparently such a territory. Long from Musimenta tries to go for goal and uh, wasted. Uh, there's Musimenta, one goal in this competition against Ashikataka. Oh, this struggle, by the way, in the first half and uh, stabilizing the second. Collected it again, Nalule, onto the wing side, looking for Nachinga Mori, who also loses possession. Kagasha, when Nachintu, Kagisha, Katushabe rather loses out on that ball, swept away by Tumwebaze. Alupo allows the ball to glide away for a throw in here. So throw coming up for Bunyaru Guru. Just 15 minutes remaining before the first half actually comes to a halt here. Kagasha. It's a very solid game in the midfield. That's where the fight is at the moment. Juta. 
Eva. So no ball into the wing side, but defended gallantly here. Nalule fighting. And now repossessed here by Nachin Tu. Becoming more physical. And uh, Katu Shabe is fouled. Not very happy about that, but uh, served by the referee. They want to begin this very quickly. That will be the free kick specialist. Mosimenta Aldrin to go for this ball in long. This is Mosimenta. Long she goes. Straight up to the goalkeeper. <laughs> and I don't think if uh, they can beat Namagana Jemba from such distance. Yeah, she's been affluent at the back. Good game reading from her. Ball distribution also top notch. Well, Juliet uh, Egwon fighting very hard at that center path there. And uh, she could be in trouble here. Juliet uh, just walks away from the scene of crime. Here's the foul. Well, two players going very hard on the captain, Shakira Nalule. Needs the doctor to come through to check her out. Yeah, I think they know the threat as she poses to them. If they are to leave her with the ball, she can shoot from a distance and is very quick through the small spaces for creativity so they cannot afford to let her move freely as most of the readiness footballers run to their coach for other instructions but apparently they will need Shakira on her feet. Remember Bunyaruguru had only one substitute yesterday who was also a goalkeeper and yet they have another makeshift footballer who is a goalkeeper so they have about three goalkeepers. I don't know if that has been sorted but the rest were tested positive for COVID-19 and may need to either go away from Unjeru or quarantine, go through the measures and be back at a later stage if Bunyaruguru progress to the quarterfinals. All time for the two Nyanzis to give some bit of instructions to the goal, uh, sorry, to the players as the captain Nalule Shakira continues to receive uh, the medical attention. She seems to be very okay. She's uh, walking off the pitch here. And action will be resuming in a bit. The players come back onto center stage. Free kick shall be there for Rines. Tell Nel Nel, if you're following this world, wherever you are following from, free kick now to Rines. It was their ball, so I don't know why the players of Bunyaru Guru think it's theirs. Free kick here. Pisaloyo. It's bouncing through to the goalkeeper Esther Namaganda. And, uh, Esther will be buying a few seconds on that, trying to cool down the situation at hand. As the sun currently coming up here in Jinja. As the fog keeps on fading away slowly by slowly. And visibility seems to be very much okay right now. Sunday morning in Jinja. Aloyo. Nalule is back on the pitch. Swept away by Tumwe Baze. Offside. Uh, Mary Susan trying to fight very hard to get herself something together with peace. Kemi, uh, is Kekimuri, jersey number 16, and you're on your screen. Ten minutes remaining to play for straight away from goalkeeper to goalkeeper. Esther Namaganda receiving. When you talk about women's football, we tell you about uh, the reappointment of uh, Honorable Nachiwala back into the presidency of uh, Fufa. Yeah. She's the vice uh, president. Uh, in charge of uh, Super League clubs. The third, is that third vice president? Yeah, third yeah. vice president. But apparently what perturbs me is this time she had to be 
seconded by even uh, FUFA big league clubs. That is where the problem is, but apparently the Uganda Premier League clubs need to work up and stop crying in privacy. Did say she was seconded by big league clubs? Yeah. She's supposed to be in charge of Super League clubs. Yes. But big league clubs... A section of them. Okay. And before, of course, she's, she should be ratified by the assembly because all they have to do is propose. In the past, they would choose, but now they propose three names and the powers that be ratify and pick on one. Definitely, it had to be Honorable Nacho Warachi Yenji if they had to pick one because for them... She does what is expected of her. That's a miscue from Eva, really. And on the far side, uh, Maureen trying to chase, but that goes away for a goal kick now. Uh, disappointment from Eva. You can see the frustration right now. Yeah. Well, coming up later. Yeah. More football. More football as the administrators are nearing closure of voting. Because we've gone through the delegates, special interest groups, eh? yeah, interest groups, and uh, of yesterday, then uh, the uh, detailed ones, that is the clubs, big league, and apparently those are from definite regions. We are also voted, <laughs> and apparently for big league it was also drama, where one person. <laughs> was told there was no contestant, that is cut off pro line. So he decided to go and try out his luck. On to be, only to be told at a later stage you, that you've gotten two votes. Chance away, good save again from the keeper. Rebound from a loophole, controlled here. There's a chance here for Juliet Nguyen. And tries to leg this one in. Ah, good piece of defensive work. That defense has actually been very solid. So did the person with two votes win? You cannot win with two votes. There are 14 big league clubs, of course, they're all, they are all not delegates, it is just a section of them. If I'm not mistaken, there are only four. Then why did the person go unopposed? That's it. That's it, put your name there, then go unopposed. If there's no other competition, go unopposed. Uh, no, anyway, there's a corner here. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Uh, of course, not uh, with the football going on. It is a huge debate, but apparently that's what elections uh bring sometimes a lot of controversies corner for nyaruguru away by halima They're trying to time this one but took it away but now lalure goes very long straight away to the goalkeeper esther namaganda it's about six minutes of no more time remaining to play for here She's pointing that she's going long, so they should move up front. That's what she does. In the past, she was calling Mosimenta to kick the balls on her behalf. I think now she's gotten the confidence to distribute herself. So it goes away for throw it. Well, nothing serious to, can I say, disturb the goalkeepers. They've been slightly not very busy, apart from uh, Najemba Elsie, who just had to handle the ball. Nothing much really we have seen in this. Yeah, yeah she has the right to do yeah. that. Namaganda, I love her style. She invites the opponents and then gets the ball, which is somehow frustrating for those that try to attack thinking she'll make a mistake and drop the ball. So way by two ways. Juta to Mwebaze tries to keep the ball on play. That's Eva also failing to do that. And uh, he's a fail, uh, sorry, foul there by Susan Atuhire. Well, the captain for Bunyaru Guru. Been very busy today. Not only today, but even yesterday, she had a very good game. As, uh, as usual, Peace Aloyo does that. Golo. Collected well by a lawyer. Now it's a game of ping pong, one side to the other. Oh dear, that ball is actually going to throw in. <laughs> Halima Katushabe. 
Just failing to keep the ball on play and uh, Rines will be getting this for a throw. That is Katushabe. Former player of uh, Rines. Katushabe Halima. Yes. Yeah. Former player of Rines and the player of Lady Dubs on loan to Bunyaruguru. I think Bunyaruguru has a partnership with Lady Dubs. You can't have all those players on loan. Maybe not a partnership, but an understanding uh, to try utilize the talents of those that Lady Dubs will be thinking are uh, just beyond surplus for them. Catherine Juta. Away by two members. Eh? And, uh, Rines will be getting another throw with just about uh, three minutes of no more time to play for here. As Coach Nyans looks on, putting his arms on his waist, wondering what is next for his team. Catherine Juta looking to go slightly long. Don't know how far it will be going, but this is Juta. Throws on that, flicked on by Nalule. Away by Eva. And stolen away there by Juliet Negwon. Maureen. Went for the overhead pass. Was not allowed time uh, to pick it up as she had to, uh, of course, push away opponents, and that is the reason we have a free kick at the backside for the home team. Aloyo trying to keep away the corner. She does very well. It's going to be a throw in now to Bunyaruguru. And possibly Kagasha Shadia can uh, try and throw something long, which he actually goes a little shorter. Juliet. Oh, they're still fighting for the same ball there. A big one there from uh, Osimenta. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. <laughs> and now there is an offside. Well, for once I thought that ball was actually going out, but uh, easily goes away for the offside. Two well, minutes of no more time. Two minutes of no more time. Bunyaruguru and Rene still held in a stalemate. Rene is uh, one of the pioneers of the FUFA Women Elite League. If you remember, the top tier was called Elite League for about five seasons before becoming Super League last season. So it takes the name for a second season running. And apparently, alongside the likes of Kawempe, Kachira, Abuyukwe, Eastern Heroes, Gafford Ladies, Hallelujah, and She Corporates are the teams that started league football in Uganda. Buyukwe, She Red Stars is now defunct, but Rina is still pushing on. Well, is Kachira still there? I don't know if Kachira is actually still there. I don't know. Some of those teams you've talked about, really, Hallelujah. I'm very sure I've talked about Buyukwe because I come from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm very sure we have no women team at the moment. I will need to set up one. Now we Adrian Musimenta. This is the distance that she loves, really. Musimenta. This is Aldrin. Trying to drop that ball through. Goalkeeper comes out and uh, receives the ball well. Najemba. Yeah, great goalkeeping from Najemba. Picks she, yeah, yeah, picks up a knock. The way she went down, the left leg protruding and then. Of course, uh, using it as a shield. That is going down on the carpet. It is dangerous. Hope she's just out, but not out of the game. Well, Najemba feeling the pain. There's a good ball through. Let's wait and see. Well, I think the ball could have hit her face. Confirm from here. Could have hit her on the face. Yeah. And uh, could be having a problem with that. But again, uh, there is a checking from where the doctor is holding around the chest cavity there. Yeah, you know the ball rolled down. I think from the face to the chest until it got to the, uh, the gap between the left leg and one thigh. But apparently for me, that is throwing in everything you have to save your team. That's what she does. Whenever there is a break, Rene's footballers regroup. If you've realized that each trying to rectify their mistakes, that is what you need as teammates to know what has gone wrong so that 
if repaired well, the results can go your way. She's up, Najemba LC, good for Rines. She'll be okay to continue this one, Najemba. And uh, they just added one minute. Najemba away. Now they are collecting on the far side. This is a chance away. Good movement there. Ali run from Alupo. Holding up perfectly now. More play here for Rines as they drive forward. Clearance goes away for a throw in to Rines. Think shortly the referee will be blowing the whistle for the first 45 to be brought to an end. Just waiting for that throw. Game still continues. Eva. Oh, this is Eva rather. Trying to nick that ball away to Nalule. Finally brushed away. Ball for Bunyari Guru. And uh, it will be Tumebaze to throw, but I don't think if that will be the case. A referee does blow the whistle to bring the first 45 to an end. It's been slightly a very heavy match where the two teams have been trying very much to see if they can break themselves in the midfield there. But just a few chances to laugh about in this one. Uh, between Bunyaru Guru and Rines, that is Group B of the two sides that are still dominating the table in this group. As it stands, uh, Rines still top the group with four points. And apparently when you're guru, so We've cut and reduced our MTN Momo withdrawal rates. Now you can withdraw mobile money at the lowest rates. You also get MTN Century Points when you deposit, send and withdraw MTN mobile money. Visit our Momo agents countrywide and withdraw mobile money at our reduced rates from 1st May 2021. Everywhere you go, MTN. What does it mean to be closer together? It's taking the last bus home for a surprise visit. Closer together is strangers finding a connection. It's bringing home something much more than a box. It's the warmth of home or the beginning of something new. There's magic in sharing the things that we learn because it's those things that bring us close together. This is Auntie Jovita, your friend, your mentor, and your mother. Someone who wishes you so well. I am here to talk about a very sensitive topic and this is teenage pregnancy. Teenage pregnancy is bad. Don't get involved in it. Because it affects you. It will affect your relationship with your friends. It will affect your relationship with your siblings. It will affect your relationship with your family, the community, the school. You know, it will affect almost everything around you. Today, we've had issues of girls getting pregnant. Do you know how bad that is to you? Do you know how it is going to affect your education? Do you know how it's going to affect your life? Do you know how it can affect your health the rest of your life? Because your body is not yet ready to have a pregnancy, to carry a baby, and here you are. So many complications, and there's always a financial constraint in it. Because someone has to take care of you, someone has to make sure that you, you're getting all the support you need, which you could have done when you get pregnant, when you're mature, and you have your job, and you have someone responsible you can put up there and say, please, this is who he is, and we can work on it and look after our baby. But here, you are leaning on your family, which is not good. Stay safe and avoid teenage pregnancy.
an e-invoice is issued by VAT registered taxpayers while an e-receipt is issued by non-VAT registered taxpayers. Uganda Revenue Authority. Developing Uganda together. Prosper with Airtel Money today. Become an Airtel Money agent. Apply or register today as an Airtel Money agent free of charge. Or call us on 0800-327-327 toll free. Submit your business documents to be verified by Airtel Uganda free of charge. Feedback will be communicated within a maximum of five working days. The Airtel team will be in touch with you for the next business steps still at no cost. Inquiries, applications or registration and verification are all free of charge. To register or know more, call us today on 0800-327-327, toll free. Airtel, the smartphone network. Welcome back from uh, the Njeru uh, Fort Kinko Center where FUFA Women Elite League Action has continued this morning. Bunyarugulu against Trinez. My name is John Band Center, Ugandans from wherever you may be watching us from. We promised you sport and sport is what we are delivering. It's the group B of this FUFA Women Elite League. Um, joining me on the set to do analysis for this game is a Fifi Fianapik in Amido. And she's been watching this and she knows why it's still scoreless. Take it on. Yeah, I think uh, the coaches were tactical enough uh, to subdue uh, the tactics of the other. Uh, when you look, Nyanzu made her coach for Unyaruguru uh, compacted the midfield. You realize he went for a 4 4 2 system uh, because he knows the opponent went for a 4 3 3 system. Apparently, you can see that Negwen and Nachi to have tried to man the midfield so well. That is why we have better possession uh, of uh, Bunyaruguru uh, than Rines. Uh, Rines apparently are trying through the wind. Uh, the wing that is none to me, uh, Nababi Lydia, and apparently it goes to their captain Shakira, who most of the times need to get balls uh, to Eva uh, Akayesu, that is who scored goals yesterday, and Nanchinga, who has been out of the game. Uh, so for me, as uh, Shakira tries to uh, pounce herself into the midfield, uh, Negwen and the rest uh, try uh, definitely to wear her down, and that is the reason as to why uh, we've seen uh, teams not scoring, but apparently you also don't take either credit uh, from the goal keepers uh, coming out on time reading the game favorably uh, that is uh, for uh, Namaganda who is not uh, been disturbed a lot but Najemba Elsie who is been uh, put to work uh, tirelessly most of the time but apparently uh, all the time clearing uh, she could have even gotten a knock though I don't think they can afford to lose her at that stage but apparently we had two strong defenses and then we had uh, the a team that could be a little weaker Bunyaruguru planning for the game better and that is why we still have a stalemate uh, between both teams, John Burns. Um, uh, Fifi, um, uh, the injury is taking their toll, especially on players as action gets as action rolls out. Um, uh, do you think it's about the official turf or fitness levels? Uh, it's both, uh, John Burns. Uh, for that official turf, we've talk, uh, talked about that time and again because these players only uh, play from that official turf sometimes. It could be once in a while. Some of them, it could even be their first time. And then for fitness levels, uh, for clubs that didn't play for 13 months, it, it just yeah, fitness levels do not come uh, back just in just about two months of coming back. So uh, I think both combined is the reason as to why we have injuries. But uh, the psychology uh, the doctors uh, in charge of that will try uh, to manage and then they will play because I'm reliably uh, told most of the players are playing through those injuries. Uh, some of them will wear off. It depends on the body. How do you heal? Do you heal fast or do you consistently have them come and go? Uh, so it will depend. You don't think, uh, John Burns, that uh, there is one who is 100% fit. No, that should be one who probably uses different tactics. But if we are in the tactics that I used, a doctor once told me that in 13 months without football mm -hmm. could need about more 10 months for players so to can't. get back to where they were. Especially the women. Surely yeah. they need a lot of time to get back. Absolutely. And they're getting back into this and it's at that fish tough down there in Injeru. I remind Ugandans, it's sport we promised and sport we actually do deliver. Um, we've, we've given you the Uganda Cup, Stambik Uganda Cup, we've given you the Four Women Super League and now it's the, the FUFA Women Elite League. 
for clarity to those that are starters. The FUFA Women LA League, the second tier of Ugandan women football. We are in Group B, is playing in some kind of bubble. There are four groups in this, and by the end of it all, two teams will qualify to play in the FUFA Women Super League, of which the champions now are Lady Doves. The relegated teams are Isra Soccer Academy and Makerere University. Fifi. Shemak. Shimak. Yeah, okay. like, like you said. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get in contact with my colleague down there at the technical center, Joel Muita, but in case he comes about, he'll tell us what exactly is happening down there. Joel, we're trying to get to you. When The moment we see you on, on that screen, be sure we shall cue you in and uh, you'll get to talk about whatever is happening down there at the top through the night and early in the morning. But Fifi, yeah. I'm officiation throughout this FUFA Women football, starting from the Super League up to where we are now, Elite League, what's your opinion? Uh, I think there have been a few mistakes, uh, but the mistakes were not enough to change uh, the result of the game. Uh, there are those mistakes that you think, why would a referee do this? Because uh, it, they give it their time. For us, we could be doing something and uh, just uh, doing it for fun. But if you're doing it professionally, you're a referee, sometimes there are mistakes that you avoid. But apparently, I've not seen those mistakes that would call for alarm. And apparently, even uh, in the uh, women highlight league so far, I think we've had good officiation. Sometimes the penalty appeals if you have a second look, because remember, these referees have just seconds uh, to make their decisions. For me, they can't get 100%, but apparently they are ab above 50, which is okay to live by, because we've seen mistakes being made by referees at the biggest stages in the El Clasicos, the matches that you fancy to watch at World Cup level, but apparently for now. And uh, I thank FUFA for uh, trying to deploy women, because you empower them and prepare them to get their badges in a better shape. Uh, I think they're handling it so well and apparently because they are women there is a way they are a little bit soft or lenient uh, sometimes no, to let the game flow Fifi, Fifi, let me, let, Fifi, please let me put you right it's not about being lenient mm. women understand women better especially oh. in sport okay Please. <laughs> let it's me not about being lenient. <laughs> women understand women better, especially in sports. Okay, let me agree with you <laughs> because I've seen one person tackling and the referee has like, does she have a soft spot for this person? <laughs> but like you're saying, it's an understanding, which is okay. But for me, the referees have been okay. Not top notch, but they are fair and we can afford to use them at that particular level. John Burns and those viewing UBC. Yeah, uh, yesterday, Bunyaruguru into their game against Shikataka were level at halftime, 0-0, zero, yeah. zero, and they yeah. weren't playing the best of football. Yeah. Today, they're still level at 0-0. Zero, zero. The people of Rubidizi would like to hear optimism from you, Fifi. Do, they, do you think their team can do anything different in the second half? I, get that result that surely yeah. confirms them into the round of eight. I don't want to get their hopes high. They were playing Shikataka, who are also debutants in the Women Elite League. But now you play a team that has had four seasons that is part of the teams that inaugurated the tournament way back in 2015. Uh, so you know that Renez is not something to walk by. Uh, for me, the point, Bunyaruguru should uh, anticipate a very good football. The good thing with their team, it has acclimatized so well. Today, the energy levels are a bit uh, better than yesterday. You can see the pressing high is a bit better than yesterday. The understanding, gelling, uh, sinking between the players. And uh, you believe me, actually, they've been the better side. They've been threatening at moments. Uh, the uh, people in uh, Ru uh, Rubirizi should anticipate that probably a goal could come in because when you're playing a good side, an experienced one, a Rennes football club, then you use, you need to use those players on loan from Lady Dubs uh, to try subdue them and try to get something. Otherwise, I cannot say uh, that it is outright that Munyaruguru will come and win this game because Rennes itself, we told you, they have a reason to play this tournament. Yeah, as I continue to remind Ugandans, uh, seeing the teams walk onto the turf, uh, but for the second half, I remind Ugandans that we say thank you to the Federation of Uganda Football Associations. And uh, by the way, this in no particular order. The Federation, Uganda Broadcasting Corporation, the production team down at Fufat at the Technical Center, and of course the guys within us. Of course, today we have a special man. Whatever we are looking like is because of a man who is our boss at UBC, Fred Chomuhendo. We say thank you for excusing yourself of the bed and service and coming down to be a part of this production. But of course, the engineers. Alan and Tamale, you're doing a wonderful job, but I'm on the ground. Bernard Othien and Alpha Luwama, you guys are immense. Peter Otai comes on with Fifi for the second half.
Taking you back to the second half, a of football between Rennes Football Club and Bunyaruguru all the way from Rubirizi. Ma first half ended in a 0-0 stalemate and apparently the second half, which is the final one, would look to be more optimistic, more venturing because these teams need at least to score a goal to change avenue and to have better chances and a good shot to progress to the quarterfinals. Well knowing that King of Kings and Dynamic have already booked those slots. A referee is about to start the second half. And as you know, the FUFA Women Elite League has produced very good players. At the moment, Sandra Nawetemi going on to future for Tha. She even scored a goal yesterday. So playing at that level means a lot of money, more exposure. And it is what our players on the pitch today would look forward to. We are about to be off. Referee getting ready. And it will be Bunyaruguru to get the second half going. <laughs> uh, Lupo Honora trying to go long. But apparently ball is stolen at the midfield level. Nantume Anita looking out for a loyal piece and Rines Football Club failing to get this one right. It goes off the pitch and Bunyaruguru will have to throw from the backside. Zero zero, that is confirmation of the score line as it is, but we are just into the second half. Super marking at the backside for Inez Football Club. And apparently you anticipate there will be the long drives and long passes across the midfield. If teams had a create chances and have a shot at goal. Well, Bunyaruguru chess and Rene's try. Oh, Esther Namaganda with a lot of confidence joins in play and saves the day for the visiting team. Rinas will club with the ball. Oh, lot of uh, sweeping coming in from Bunyaruguru. And now the flag just goes up for the offside here. Just reminding you that if you look at your screen perfectly well, scoreboard is still standing at the same, no change of anything in here. Totally at the same. Uh, Rines will be the one to see what they can actually get from here. It's a free kick for them. Now free kick shall be brought in quickly by Peace Aloyo. Will be the one to deliver this forward. Belong from Peace. Bouncing ball onto the far side looking for Roda Tumwebaze. Roda. It's a very poor play there from Roda. I don't know exactly what she was thinking about really. And uh, that just goes away for a throw in here to Bunyaru Guru. Sorry, to Rines rather. Yeah, poor decision making from her. You don't expect that there were colleagues nearby should have passed the ball to them, but decided to go for a hard shot. Bunyaru Guru sweep away, looking for a loophole who's not there whatsoever. That's fine play in the midfield from Nantume. And unfortunately, there was an offside here coming in through. Uh, well, she actually just came through just at number 17. She's just been brought in. Trying to change the game, sweeping ball forward here. Greenest football club. Sweeping ball forward here. Finally, away by Musimenta. Well, the fight is actually still on. It's a battle, and the referee will be awarding that for a free kick for some bit of uh, pulling on to Mwebaze. And uh, game still very much into this. Well, Betty did come in a little while ago. Just it, number 17 there. For uh, Rene. Uh, she came in for Atuhire, so basically Atuhire just could not 
Oh, at Uhiri, at Uhiri is in for Susan. Yeah, a lot of confusion there. Will be rectified as soon as possible. There is change of position. And there we go. Nachinga also came out and in came number 17, Nakubulwa. Yeah, Nachinga has not lived to expectations of the coach up front, a foreigners football club. And apparently Nakubulwa is put on uh, to try give them momentum up front because apparently they had less space in the first half and there were a few chances created from the right side where Nanchinga was uh, approaching from. Long ball kick from Esther Namaganda. Yes. Well. Apparently to the other goalkeeper, Eusina Jemba. It is keeper to keeper. That means now that the teams need to go up to admit the balls and create chances. Well, what interesting thing about uh, Bunyaru Guru, yeah. <laughs> Atuhire actually replaced Atuhire. And one is Susan and the other is Mostula. Ah, free kick here. Just only five minutes of the second half already played. It's the FUFA Women Elite League. Rene is trying to attack. And brushed away there by Alupo. Away by Nancha to the far side, Juta Catherine. And another free kick just awarded here to Rines. Well, uh, the game coming up later at about midday will be a battle between uh, the She Kataka up against a team all the way from Bugiri, that is uh, Town View, Bugiri. It will be a very, very fine game. Now, those two teams actually love to play some pretty good football. They love to attack each other. Away by Aloyo. Collected by Alupo. Alupo coming back to defend, but now she's driving the team forward. Collected well. Nice dummy there from uh, Katushabi Halima. With a cross ball through, but easy does it. A chance here, but again, recollected by Najimba. Once I thought she had actually dropped that ball for uh, for goal. There will be another free kick here. Irina Kiror. Or doing everything in her power to make sure that uh, her side at least gets uh, all the maximum points today. Unyaru Guru. Referee ordering this to be sent towards the center. This was a good cross there from uh, Halima. And again. Cross wasn't that bad. Was good pressure on that ball. The tactic was not that bad really, but again. First instance was poor from uh, Najemba. Did redeem herself in the second tech. She has some very good goalkeeping skills there, Najemba Elsie. by Juliet Roda at the midfield level now Nababi it is collected here by Eva trying to nick that ball through on the blind side here and the keeper comes out Namaganda is a good goalkeeping there good judgment the defense was slightly slow but uh, Namaganda is had to actually Come in perfectly, otherwise could have been trouble there. Betty Nakubulua was coming in very slowly from the blind side. Tume, away by Kuda, stolen by Alupo. Let's be two feet Alupo. Oof, did that go on the face? Alima for the throw. Alupo. Organize, organize. Yaru to get this throw in. Kagasha Shadia with a long one. Juliet actually trying to follow suit of that ball. There was some bit of a foul 
right in front of the referee there. Not very happy about uh, the way the game is being played there. Patience, Chimuri, and the referee well, having a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one talk. I hope it's not a foul for Bunyaru Guru. It could be a foul for Bunyaru Guru. Yes, it is. Now we, Lydia, was the culprit, and uh, this could be trouble because it's Aldrin Musimenta territory. Well, you could say it's a little bit far from the center, but uh, let's wait and see what happens here. Yeah, if you have someone who can carve that in, then it is dangerous uh, for Rines who have to defend it. Goalkeeper Namaganda Esther. That's why that's Najemba. That's Musimenta. Very disappointing. Oh, she has been very disappointing today. And, uh, very sure her coach Nyansi won't be very happy about that. But uh, we are still having a game here to play. That's just 54 minutes of this played here. So still have a lot to play for. Apparently in the past we used to have coaches manding the national teams and apparently clubs. But they decided effective this season, those with the national team need to concentrate. That's why we have Farida Blega no longer with Kampala Queens giving way to Shafiq Motebi. And then you have Khalifa Ayubu of Kawempe leaving Kawempe Muslims from Qatar and then concentrating on the junior team and we expect a collapse as uh, starting next week but apparently the players I talked of that have uh, uh, been fruits of uh, the women league like Sandra Naweteme, Tracy Akiro Jones who is now in America uh, could be called a pen to help out in the qualifiers against Ethiopia. It's a wasted ball there. Well, weather just keeps on changing here in Jeru. Sun appears, sun disappears, sun appears. And, uh, throw in for Bunyaru Giru to Mwebaze. Brushed away and uh, it's going to be a free kick to go the other way around. And it will be Rina's time to see if they can actually possess this ball and try and take it away to Bunyaru Giru. As the sand cranes have actually finished their warm ups on the uh, beach, as they go down to do more training. P. Saloyo looking to deliver this ball in very long. This is Aloyo. The ball inside the D from Aloyo. Now collected here by Eva. One pass, two passes through from uh, Nantume. Excellent piece of work there by Kagasha Shadi and uh, puts the ball away for throwing here to Rines. Why is the coach shouting that they don't touch? Oh, he doesn't want anyone to bring down an opponent because it could give a penalty. So they need just to mark well. Juliet. Juliet again trying to do exactly what the coach was telling her, but instead she fouls. I know among the comments, you love have ball sense the more. Yeah. <laughs> to be your catchphrase from the coaches. Free kick for Rines in a good territory. Just look at Shakira go, trying to distract the goalkeeper. Oh. That's away from Eva. And that goes for a corner. Coming in from the, but, uh, the, the way Shakira was actually standing uh, right at the goalkeeper, I think to me that could be an obstruction and can actually yield into a, a foul. No, it depends if you stand beside sight, okay, only when you stand in front. Right in front, okay, yeah. get you. Irene, speaking, Irene. Irene. Here comes the corner. 
brought in well. The slight pressure chance to the keeper there. Namakanda Esther. It was a little bit fumbled too. And uh, at the end of the day, safety there for Namaganda. The answer very okay as uh, Juliet. It's been very uh, midfield. A miscue from Juliet. Another miss from Juliet. And this ball seems to be on its way away. Oops. Kada in trouble. Now it's stolen away. This is a chance here. Katushabi Alima went for it very early. Yeah. She's looking for a goal here. The shot could not even make a baby cry. It was just very loose, lacking energy. Halima should do better against former employers. There's a player down. Let's see if. Oh, that's good legs from Aloyo. Sorry, from uh, Alupo. Yeah. Again, Alupo looks to deliver. It's a good pull through. He had to come again. What happened? And uh, I'll be an offside according to the center referee. But again, good skills from Alupo. Yeah, but then a poor execution from the center forwards. Well, very disappointing. That is a Mastula. I was trying to get the ball through. In. Yeah. At Haire. <laughs> the coach is telling one of the players that the player promised a good play and probably a goal in the game, but he has not yet seen any. Well, sometimes I'm still wondering where the offside was, even really. Me, I'm wondering. For me, I thought that maybe she had controlled with an arm. No, there was no arm there. She had it hit her thigh. But again, you can see the Antinx flexibility of Najemba. Elsie, who does well. Yeah, we had gotten the picture between <laughs> and uh, tapping on the conversation between coach and player for Rines. Coach saying, Once who is there, you promised that you deliver, so please do. As referee asks the medical team to come and pick up the Bunyarukuru player on the ground. Still nil nil. 29 minutes remaining to go. That's the first match of the day. As uh, the defender seems to be very much okay. That is uh, Musimenta. Be okay to continue this match here. Well, for Rines, they actually gather up to have a little bit of a small word from the coach. Just to see if they can continue. On the ooh, She can't continue. She can't continue. She just can't continue. I think she's not in the right state of mind to continue. That is Musimenta Allen. Yeah, and remember, we told you they have an issue with substitutions. Due to COVID, teams were allowed only 16 players, but you could make more if you'd reduce on the number of officials. But apparently, if Bunyaruguru made 16 and 5 tested positive, then that means they have about 11 or 12 players in their docket. The 11 are already on the pitch. And they will need the only one to come in. As a, haven't they already made a substitution? Yeah, they did. So they brought in Atuhiri Mustula. Mustula, rather. And now they have a problem because they are central defender. Mosimenta Aldrin is being stretched off. Okay, that's not good. So can we see substitution being made? Or they will wait for her to heal? Jesus Christ, too bad for Bunyaruguru. This is uh, Alupo who has gone back to defend. Nalule stripped away there by Mwebaze. Now Juta goes for safety first, and that's going to be a throw in now to Unyaruguru. They are a man down, and uh, they're currently putting more pressure here on uh, Rines. To Mwebaze. Fight continues onto the wing and could be a foul. And uh, patience brought down. <coughs> Free kick to Bunyaru Giru. Just only 27 minutes remaining to play for, play for rather. 1 1, the two sides all locked on four points. With, of course, Rene on top of the table due to the number of goals they scored yesterday. Three, as Bunyaru Giru scored only one. 
pass on that score for Mbunyaru Guru has actually been stretched off. Well, a lot of mathematics being put on that ball there by Katushabe Halima. And here we go. What can she do with this Katushabe? Free kick. Mbunyaru Guru. It's Katushabe. That's disappointing. Did a lot of cooking on that. It was a lot of cooking, but at the end of the day, nothing came out. The coach running out of ideas. Sometimes it gets bigger than you. I want to know what happened to the player. All right, now we could be having a substitution. Uh, let's wait and see. Oh, here we go. There's a yeah, substitution made. They okay. do have a player. And, uh, sorry, Musimenta will not be continuing on this. She was not in the right state. I know, she was not in the right state. Uh, she went down a little oftenly and apparently stayed down long. Rene's football club have a chance to clear away from danger. That is what they do. So, that's a foul throw from the captain to Webaze. There we go, Ashaba coming in for Musimenta. Well, she just can't continue. Ashaba. Just coming in for Musimenta. That's Ashaba. Shivan. Yeah, Musmenta, who has not had a very good game today, also goes off injured and Ashaba will come in to deputize on that. Hope she feels the shoes so well because Musmenta was instrumental and scored a goal yesterday that earned them three points. Throwing now, agency for Rines. And also agency for Bunyaru Guru, but this is a throw for Bunyaru Guru. Could be Kagasha Shadia to throw this ball forward here. Kagasha, a loophole, foul. I'm seeing you. What from the centre referee? Stop it! I'm seeing you. <laughs> I'm seeing you. What you are doing? Stop. <laughs> I just like it when the center referees give the instructions and we can hear. Yeah. yeah she said what I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. Stop it. <laughs> so that's very nice, really. That's how the game should be. You should be hearing what kind of uh, communication is coming from the referee. I think it's in rugby where we do have the referees with the microphones there and also the issue of uh, tennis too. Yeah, the umpires in tennis. And in tennis, the microphones picked up big stats, sometimes complaining. Yeah. I remember, in particular, Serena Williams told one of the umpires, your heart is cold. And she was sanctioned. Another free kick here. This time it was Juliet who was fouled. Free kick to Bunyaru Guru. Now Ashaba Shivan with the delivery. Cementa in the way. A good play from Akiro Irene. That is actually a throw in to Rines Juta. Unfortunately, they just can't keep the ball on play. Kayesu. It's been very quiet today, Kayesu. Yeah. She scored yesterday the second goal as they managed her to beat Townview Bojiri. But today she's been a little quiet. And maybe that is due to the supply because Bunyarugura have made sure the demand the midfield and all Rines can do is use the wide areas to try create a movement and create chances which has not paid off very well because Shakira then is isolated and cannot get into the game very well. Nancha. Foul. Oh, 
I'm sure it depends on the ground nature. Hope uh, she's okay to continue. Uh, looks as if she is, so... It was actually a lawyer, not Nancha, it's a lawyer. Nalule, Eva. It's free kick on uh, Shakira Nalule who was uh, brought down there. Time ticking away, just about 21 minutes remaining to play in this. Munyaruguru, Neil, Rines, Neil. Rines have a chance to change that. Aloyo! Oh, 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 oh. That's a sweet goal from Aloyo! Was she just celebrating like she's run mad there, Aloyo? How about that from her? What a goal! What a goal! And they salute the coach. Job well done there. You just cannot believe this, but readers are leading Bunyari Guru by 1 0 from Aloyo. We are caught Nyanzi joining the celebration. The beauty of the goal. I had just mentioned they had a chance to change the results that we had on the scoreboard. And Aloyo makes sure they achieved that. It was a long one. It was a very well calculated from direction. The energy on it, because it was a bit far. Just take a look at it. Oh, she went long. And just look at Namaganda. Just standing there, but she could not get her hands on the ball. It got past her, where she was standing, just above her head. Apparently, she jumped a little bit too late. A loyal squad, a beauty. Oh, it is one for Inez. Well, Bunyaru Guru are currently testing their medicine here. They scored such a goal against Shikataka that gave them the win over Shikataka. Now, it's the opposite. Yellow card given away to Peshes. Kimuri. Of frustration, just receiving a card after conceding. That means that you're becoming disorganized. They need to regroup. 20 minutes are enough for them to come back stronger. Well, as we talked about Renez having something to play for, the midfielder Negwen Juliet also has something to play for. Her sister Rema Adubango was electrified and passed away some time back, so she has a reason to play for in this game at the midfield level. Well, that's a gliding ball away, what the referee said, it's a goal kick. Well, that's the goal scorer, Peace Aloyo, a first goal of the competition. They could be looking to double it. Oh, there's a collision there between the defender and goalkeeper, but the referee said otherwise. Lupo, away by Juliet. Lupo the chess again. She's very pacey. This is a Lupo. Beats one. Looking to beat two. Crosses well. A chance here. Good save from the keeper. What a save. And Chimba. Well, trust me, she is my goalkeeper of this tournament for, for now. Yes, yes. Uh, whereas we have Akirol being uh, the captain of the women team, the President Prince, who did not have a very good tournament. So you think probably Nabisa will take that. Abai, 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 women, abai. A light league. For me, I think, Peter, just like you, Najemba else has been spectacular. Even when you think everyone is beaten and the opponents will get an empty net, she comes alive. Just look at her, closed in in an angle, realized the ball was going to the middle of the park, just had to switch because also Nora had cut back. And just look at her goal, the flexibility, good, reflexes. good decision making. That's what a good goalkeeper needs and not fearing to go for the ball even under the legs of an opponent. That is what you need as a goalkeeper. Najemba has passed my exams. Well, we saw her yesterday making two one-on-one -on -one saves that really were supposed to be goals. We've seen her again here. Very good goalkeeping from Najemba. Elsie, if she continues like this, trust me, she's going places. Sheer brilliance from a goalkeeper there. 
As he keep her get some medical treatment and it will be Unyarukuru having a little bit of talk and for Alupo I think she will believe that uh, the strikers should have done more because she did almost all the dogs yeah, work. Yeah, she did everything and she had two players who were free. All they needed to do was get the ball past Najemba. He's been spectacular and very intelligent at goal. Well, 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 well. Aloyo Peace is now in senior six, the goal scorer. Uh, joined Renez when she was in senior two. So that is four years with the club. And apparently one of those that have been serving for a long time just look at her. Alupo Nora disappointed that nobody could meet her cutback. Well, for Bunyaru Guru girls, they have a lot of talking. I don't know if someone's been calmed down. Yeah, I think, being calmed yeah down. she's calmed down. I think because she knows she's not getting enough supply. And they are telling that they passed the ball to you, but where did you shoot? Because if you look, she was in the line to shoot and did not. So she's just getting frustrated at nothing. But good energies and good vibes, like the youth love to call it currently, between both our players, sets of players for both teams. Well, she's very much okay, Najembe, or Najemba rather. And uh, for Rines, she's been very excellent for them, very good goalkeeping. She has actually. Can I say the, the structure of a goalkeeper? The height is perfect. And I'm, I'm very sure that uh, she'll actually go places if she continues this kind of good form. The reflexes are perfect. Way by a lawyer. Let you come by Eva. Looking at the midfield. It's way by Bianca Yanguru. Kuda. Goes for safety. And uh, Aliyat uh, has been also very excellent on her left wing. Kagasha with the delivery. Going perfectly, Kagasha trying to run through. Uh, Juliet goes down, referee not awarding that free kick. And Rines defending. Eva. So no way by Kayesu. This is Julia, this is uh, Akiro rather. Looking for Lupo. Two ladies just failing to connect. Uh, that is Akiro and Lupo. Throw to Rines. Uh, they'll be able to take their time right now. They're leading. So they'll be trying to manage the game perfectly. Yeah, and if they hold on to their lead, it is cementing a place at the quarterfinals. Six points are enough in a four group at a, in a, a four team group uh, to go through to the next stage. Well, that's very good play from Eva. Confidence. And unfortunately, the captain Shakira Nalule just puts that ball outside for a goal kick here to Bunyaru Guru. So far, so good, you have to admit here for Marines from Wakiso. It will be another chance again for a loyal piece to look for another goal for herself. Well, if she scores again, it have made history to score two long ranges in one match. Yeah. There she goes. She goes this time low, away by... Akiror. Fight continues. Oops. <laughs> she misses the header. Here we come again, Nora. Driving it down. Flag remains down here. Katushabe. She will be going for the same ball yet again. Katushabe tries to beat the marker onto the line, to the byline with the cross, and that's a corner. That's a corner now. Good play, really, from uh, Halima Katushabe, trying to put more pressure on this. Corner kick. 12 minutes to go. And it's still uh, 
Rini is leading Bunyaduguru by 1-0. Shave with a corner. Okay, good one. Good one. Good one. It's a poor ball up front. Just goes for now. A goal kick to Rines. Like I said, they will be taking their time. Totally taking their time. They won't be in a hurry. Just have about uh, 11 minutes to finish this match, and uh, 11 minutes will actually guarantee them a place in the quarterfinals if they can. Dynamic is already there, King of Kings is already there. Those uh, did represent very well in Group A. Dynamic and uh, King of Kings also a secondary school team. Just in case Rines also goes through, they'll become the third school team to play. But this is good play. Alupo. That's too much, too many. Alupo. Bunyaruguru's shot number seven. A lot of complaints coming in from Mastula. She's not seeing the supply. Aloyo. Away by Nansha. For Juta. This is Bunyaruguru. Alupo switches that ball deep down. Ball into the mix. Again. Finally headed away, but Alupo yet again. There's a free kick here. Somebody will be getting a yellow card, and uh, could be Mastula. Well, number 16, that is uh, Patience. Receiving that yellow for the kick on uh, Aloyo Peace. Red oh. card. That's yeah. actually her second bookable offense. Yeah. And she's out. And we talked about uh, that. Oh, 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 you can see the frustrations. An opponent wanted to touch her, but she said, no, you cannot. You're the reasons why I've gotten a red card. And she walks off. So what happens to Bunyaruguru? Because when you get a sending off, sometimes the coach uh, goes to reshuffle the team. But like we said, they are short of players and apparently are looking here and there to manage a team and a few substitutions. Oh, they are already a goal down, and now they are a player down. Yeah, she becomes the first player in the Elite League to receive a red card. Did so we out see goes any red card in patience. the Super League? Did I, didn't we? I didn't see that, but... I, uh, I don't remember one, so I need to rethink through what happened. That is the... Re oh, it was a raised leg and onto the stomach. That's a bookable, fence. That's yeah. a bookable fence. And it was a second booking. So, if you're wondering, if the referee was harsh, no. Just right on call. Can Aloro go for that? She has to clear it away from her zone because she's at the defense. But uh, she's played very well today, Aloyo. Captain Nalule seems to be okay. Aloyo walking out, the goal scorer. Just eight minutes. Bunyaruguru are a man down and a goal down. But they have eight minutes to salvage something from this match. Uh, that would be very possible, but uh, it's football. Here we go. Substitution now. Okay. And uh, Mastula, who came in recently, is actually being substituted there. Yeah. Desperate times go for desperate measures. And apparently the coach knows that everything is at stake so you have to do everything to make sure you have a very good team. So with the three substitutions done by Bunyaruguru, it is evident that they could have solved their COVID-19 issues with the players being positive or not. By the consideration that they can come up with three already, I think it is sorted so they could have a full team that was taken to Njeru prepared to uh, take on Rene's. Well, Gimbo Fatuma was the player that came through. And, uh, there's been a foul. In throw. That's a foul in throw. <laughs> Roda throws it well. 
away by Juta. They're trying to venture forward and uh, can they get more of this? Bunyaruguru. But they keep on fighting. It's away by Juta. Straight up to the goalkeeper, Namaganda. Beaten already. get themselves a throw but just coming up later will be the road to redemption with the one coming up later at 11 a.m throw Ariad Kuda to throw this ball away Good again. At the midfield level, Eva also playing a little bit rough. And, uh, she may be going to the book there, Eva. That was a heavy foul, really, really heavy foul. And yellow card to Eva. And she just uh, keeps quiet on that. As Nagai Eva shown the yellow for her foul on uh, Nachin to Aisha. This is Irina Kiror trying to venture that long. And again, very good piece of defensive work from Nancha. They do allow the ball to roll away for a goal kick. Little today from Juliet Neguon. Really little. Yeah, at the midfield level, uh, because apparently their approach now with the goal considered changes and with the player down, they need to uh, do uh, twice as much as they did in the first half. And for Juliet, who had Nachin to Aisha and Alupo, Nora, Pras, uh, Halima on the left side, they need to accelerate better which now need to be cautiously done because Renee's are a team that have a goal and can try to go for the waiting gimmicks uh, to get a good tempo at which they can play. It's a low ball forward now, but uh, referee does award that for the foul. She wants it to be brought slightly behind. Eva Shona, the yellow card that's the confirmation of that alright sir from there from there Okay, it is a long free kick for Renee's football club. Oh, they tried to beat Esther. She was a lot this time and will go for the same kick across the divide. But apparently, the referee signaled for something. And Bunyarguru can now smile with a goal kick at the backside. Referee asks for extension of the ball. Well, uh, there will be a substitution now for Rines. And uh, Kas uh, Kayesu Yusta will be the one coming out. And it looks like they're going for more defense. Yeah. Yeah, they're just now trying to put more defensive footballers on the pitch. But uh, really, if you compare the Kayesu of yesterday and Kayesu of today. Yeah. Well, uh, she's been different. Yeah, today she's happy. There is, yeah, there has been less supply. Bunyaruguru commanded the midfield, commanded and had most of the possession apart from Aloyo who was individually brilliant and uh, slotted that free kick home but you can't say everybody even Shakira has been a little bit down and now I think that was the red card earlier on
for Nyaruguru. It is the reason as to why they are a player down <laughs> and signs of frustrations as Rines go for a free kick at the backside. The player from Apeti. Long pass into the box line, straight to the arms of the keeper, Namaganda. Well, that's a confirmation of the red card given away to Kekimuri. Patience did receive that red card a while ago. I'll try very much to see if they can also deliver those long balls there. Here comes uh, Shivana Shaba. We're just seconds away from the 90 minutes clock here. Seconds away. Ashaban, oh sorry, Ashaba Shivan will also try to see if she can go long. A lawyer, keeping it loyal for her side. Now they collect Eva, thrown away by Juliet Negon. Throwing coming up. So they've added four minutes with the minutes to actually play 4-4. Okay, four minutes to go. And apparently those are the minutes Bunyaruguru has to lay for matters. But apparently Rines also has the same time to consolidate their lead and march on to the quarterfinals. Long ball forward. Straight to the goalkeeper, Namaganda. And away, Namaganda goes. And flick back, but the referee will award a free kick here to Bunyaruguru. I don't know why the coach is holding his head. And Aloyo receiving some words from the centre referee. Just about three minutes to play. Can Bunyaru Guru come back in this? That is the question we shall be answering a little bit later if it can come through really. Shivana Shaba with a long one through. And collected by Eva. Long pole for the looking to counter attack. Betty. Betty again trying to take her time here with a cross. Doesn't yield anything. And it's Eva going long. It's a bouncing ball inside the D. This is good again for Juta. And uh, Betty just could not collect that. Goal kick to Bunyaruguru. Well, they added four. So we're left with about two to play for here. Just two. Well, there's a free kick in a good territory for a lawyer to come again and see if she can get herself a goal. This is a distance. And I can fancy her going for this again, a lawyer. Look at this. Yeah, a lawyer, but even if she goes for that and does not successfully get it on target, apparently her goal has already given a little confidence for Rines. Just look at her plan. They are planning to take it over the top and a lawyer is going for it. This is a lawyer, but straight to the goalkeeper. Decided to go for power. Or it was actually a loophole rather. Foul from Nalule. Na, na, that is uh, Nalule, yeah.
still a little bit of an issue here. Well, I'm sure the referee will be blowing the whistle to bring this encounter to an end, which she does right about now. So there you have it, Bunyaruguru beaten by Rines, and Rines qualifies for the quarterfinal. Yeah, someone may say they may need mathematics, uh, but with four goals already in the tournament and six points, you think it is at 90%. Apparently, as we await the match between Town View and Shikataka coming later in the afternoon, but all you can say, Bunyaruguru, as they walk to the referee to complain, there is really nothing much uh, to say, maybe about the red card, but the referee had all the powers to issue that for a second bo uh, booking, and apparently Rines again making the fallen hero, Mr. Richard Bayamukama, rest in peace, very proud, and they'll go for a prayer before heading into the dressing rooms apparently good for them and good start in the group well basically that is uh, the end of uh, today's match on this but of course the next game will be coming up a little bit later at about midday and that will be a battle between uh, town view of uh, bujiri well up against kataka the team that comes all the way from mbali so we expect to see you then but for now we shall be taking that break then come back a little later for game two of your sunday don't go away